Okay, for those wondering how to convert a string into a conch char variable, well, here it is. Uh, you don't need to worry about the class stuff, you just need to know that you can create a function like this. So, um, int function name const char file name. And then you write all this into there. And preferably a return as well. So, yeah, like that. Without all this bullshit, obviously, yeah, that error wouldn't be there um, if you had that correct. So, yeah, I'm not going to write out, but you just, sorry, I'm not, because it's just for me, mostly. But, yeah, so that's how you do that. And then you can just use it like this. But you'd have it as your function name rather than that. So you just have function name instead of all this. And then you just write that in. Uh, if you want to know how to do classes in other files, this is just... It's easy, you just do a header file like this and make sure you have these um, uh, parental guards, I forget what they're called, um, but um, header guards, I think that's what they're called. And then you just do a structure like that with the two, with whatever functions you want. These are your function prototypes, your you know, what your functions are going to be. So rather than writing out the full function, you just write the top part of it in as much detail as you can here. Then you, when you want to use it, you go into your CP file, you also do um, header guards. All the way down to the bottom, include right. So you write, so you do your top header guards, and then you go and you make sure you include your header so it knows what you're talking about in here. And then you just do write out your functions as if you were just writing them out, like normally. It's kind of weird though, because you write the header function headers here, and you want you to think that it would follow through here, but then it wouldn't make sense with it when you're trying to read through the the functions. You're like, well, which, which ones? What? What? So they do that to, I guess, help with that, I suppose. That's my theory, or that it may be because that's a, you need to have that. So you just write your functions as you would write out any function, except when you're trying to access the functions, apart from this one, this isn't, we can get rid of this now. This is, yeah, these are these functions. So if you just read out the function with this, this is, I mean, so this is your, uh, well, your class namespace, right? And then namespace is in like this is where your name is, and it's a space. And then you have you can call functions in that space. So there's setup, so shade of setup, and you just write out those function calls. So this is the call per, um, operator. It's weird, I know. It was, well, there's many. Well, this is the call operator in terms of the uh, setup of your function. But the the actual call call per, uh, operator is a dot or an arrow, depending on how you set it up. So you just go, um, well, you'd have to create a class object after you've created your class entirely. So you would do like OpenGL, so use the namespace as the object constructor, and then you just write the name, GL, and then you could just do gl.setup or gl.shader.setup. A constructor is like the, the process of building a function right so you're building that ability essentially in a very minimal way and then you just say gl dot gl dot and you're obviously putting in your parameters in here so wherever your parameters in here so i put the file name in there or whatever it is you want so um, i'm not sure about the limitations of that i'm so sorry and then that's how you do it so that's how you do a class if you wanted to know something like that and then if you want to use it in the source file you just add the header file I know it's weird you've done it in here, then you're doing it in here, but that's how you have to do it. So you head a file. I just like you kind of do it. See how you do headers here as well? So it's interesting. You do headers in here. And then you can just use it like that. So here's the class namespace, and then you give it the ob well, uh, the object, the class object constructor, I guess you could call it. And then you just give it a handle, and then you can use that handle to call the, fu the um, functions that you've built within that namespace. Oh, well, actually, this namespace, but this is a different namespace, but it's related to this namespace. I know it's all weird. Yeah. And it will write out a file. I've, I've done it. See, there you go. This is my OpenGL window. But yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is so I can use GL shader source properly. And I just now need to figure out how to get the size from it, which is the next problem. Then I will have solved all the issues of reading a file, uh, reading a file into a string and then convert it into a um, uh,
constant char and then putting that into GL shader source or whatever. But I still don't understand how it actually works underneath, but I'm going to figure it out eventually or not. I don't know, whatever. At the moment, I just want this working and I just closed everything like that. That's an idiotic thing to do. Anyways, thank you for watching.